Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Halloween to uh, everybody out there in the United States. And for those of you that uh, are watching from outside of the United States, well, happy uh, Sunday to all of you. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing a quick little tutorial on uh, FIFA 22, more specifically the Creative Club aspect of the game that is brand new to FIFA Career Mode. I think it's a very welcome uh, addition to the club. Yes, it is kind of like a little bit of a copy, uh, a cut and paste of the FIFA Ultimate Team of previous years, specifically FIFA 21, but at least it's better than nothing. You know, it's uh, it's an addition that many uh, FIFA players around many years before have been asking for something different uh, for uh, a career mode experience. But I know there's a lot of people that have been you know, kind of criticizing, complaining that the default crests really aren't that great, kind of take away from the immersive experience. You know, you want to make a, a your own custom club, um, whether it's a your Sunday league club, or in my case, a USL championship club, you know, a team that isn't in FIFA, you want to play a career mode with it in FIFA. In previous years, you had to make all these uh, big adjustments, create the players from scratch, etc., etc., etc. So it was a very tiresome process. Now with with uh, create a create a club, you know you you create the general aspects of it. You still have to create uh, the kits, but we'll get more into in detail in another video on how to get custom kits uh, imported into your create a club. Um, team. For now, we're going to focus on the crests, uh, the club crest. So in order to keep in mind before I start, this is specifically to FIFA 22 PC. So sorry, console players, uh, this doesn't pertain to, to you, sadly. But anyway, uh, so in order to do uh, these kind of changes to make these uh, uh, modding into FIFA 22 PC, you're going to need a um, it's a software called FIFA Editor Tool. I will be putting uh, in the description uh, the link uh, to the pay, the official Patreon. You'll be able to access all of, all the links there to for you to update uh, your your game. Uh, you also have the possibility of uh, becoming a Patreon uh, subscriber to be able to get the beta versions uh, of the software where you you'll uh, be able to test. Uh, some potential updates that can come into the future uh, for, you know, some feedback to the developers. Um, but you will need FIFA Editor Tool um, for uh, to mod the game. Uh, you will also need the uh, FIFA Encryption Tool, which is the same for FIFA 21 and FIFA 22. Um, I will post the link uh, to that in the description below as well. But anyway, so you want to get rid of the EA Sports default uh, badges for uh, create a club. So this is what you need to do. First, first of all, you will need to go in this tab. By default, it's going to be in Data Explorer. This is where you will find uh, pretty much uh, the kit uh, textures, badges, uh, environment textures. You will find it in Data Explorer. Uh, however, what you need to change will be in Legacy Explorer. So you'll click on the Legacy Explorer tab. And then from there, what you need to do in order to access uh, those crests, you need to go into, into this data folder. You open it up. From there, you will go down to UI. Open that folder. Go to Image Assets. And then you will go down all the way to where it says Crests. And then in that folder, click custom. And on here, you will find all of the default create a club um, crests that you can use for the career mode. But like I said, we're going to get rid of them. You want to put, let's say you want to put in your, your favorite uh, team's crest that is not in the, uh, in the game. So the requirements for the, uh, the crest texture, it has to be 256 by 256 pixels uh, of dimensions 
And you have to make sure as well that there is a transparent background. So it has to be a PNG or DDS, if I'm not mistaken. I usually use PNG. And you can definitely go and uh, and uh, Google search the the crest of your of your favorite team. Make sure that it has a transparent background. So you will post put that in Photoshop uh, into 256 by 256 transparent background. And so then you'll save it and you're good to go. So now, okay, so now you want to import it into, into the game, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to go into this particular uh, button, the import button, right? And so on there, you will find, you, you will try to find the, uh, the crest that you want to import, right? So here you can see that I have all the teams from the uh, USO Championship Western Conference. Um, and let's go ahead and focus on, let's say for example, uh, Austin Bold. F in the chat for Austin Bold, if you guys have made it this far. So in memory of them, we will be using Austin Bold for this example. All right, so <clears throat> you wanna make sure that you grab the file that has the dimensions of 256 by 256 pixels, which is this one right here. So you will press open and that will import the, uh, the crest into the game, right? But that's not the only thing you have to change. You also have to change these, the ones that say crest 16 by 16, 32 by 32 and 50 by 50. The 512 by 512, uh, that pertain, that does not pertain to any of the default teams or create a, uh, a club. Uh, crests. I believe it is that is for something else. So don't worry about 512 by 512 or crest MLS. Um, so going to 16 by 16, you will, it will, it's pretty much the same thing. In fact, you don't even need to create. I know in previous FIFAs, I had to create uh, the uh, texture for those particular dimensions. Um, now with the new uh, update of FIFA editor tool, it will resize it automatically. So you don't need to create different versions of the texture for 16 by 16, all these other uh, necessary dimensions. So what you're gonna do, once again, you'll go into custom, you'll go in and, and select the same ID that you changed the regular crest version. In this case, it's 9901010101. You'll open it, as you can see right there. That's a 16 by 16. Okay, so you're going to open the uh, 16 by 16 dimensions or the 16 by 16 crest. In this case, you want to open the same one that you uh, changed in the regular crest. In this case, it's 9901010101. So you're going to open it here. As you can see, that's a 16 by 16 crest. So you're going to hit import. You're going to, you're going to import the same texture file that you imported the last time. Make sure that it's a one by one aspect ratio. As you can see, I already have a 16 one, but you don't need to create one. Previous, like I mentioned, previous versions of the software, you did need to create separate versions. Now you don't. Okay. So you will import the 256 by 256, and it's going to give you this particular message size mismatch the imported image differs in size to the original image but has the same aspect ratio do you want to resize it to match the original dimensions press yes you want to make sure that it is 16 by 16 otherwise it is gonna it, it is going to go like it's just gonna look bad on screen you'll press yes resize the image you can also um before you select one you can always uh check on here to remember your choice. So every time in future uh, instances, when you want to import a particular texture uh, and you want it to resize, you can have it where it'll automatically resize. But for now, let's just leave it uh, off so it'll prompt you every time. So you'll press yes, resize the image, and there we go. It has resized the image to 16 by 16. You will do the same thing here for the 32s, right? This one, 32 by 32. Press yes to resize the image. There it is. It's imported in 32 by 32. Last one is 50 by 50. Open it, import it. Press yes, resize the image. And there we go. 50 by 50 version of the, uh, of the crest is now imported into the game. Make sure to save it. Uh, save the FIFA project, call it 
um, create a club tutorial, create a club crest tutorial. Okay. So now what we need to do is you've already imported the crests and now you have to do, you have to, in order for the mods to appear in the game, you have to launch it straight from the FIFA editor tool. It will not be shown. The mods will not be reflected. If you open it straight from the FIFA 22 launcher, you have to launch the game up here where it says launch game with mods. So let's go ahead and launch the game and we'll see. And uh, we'll see you in just a little bit uh, in the actual game. Okay, so now we're inside FIFA 22. We have launched it straight from the FIFA editor tool uh, with the mods that we have just installed into the game. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit play. You're going to go into a new career. Make sure you have to you start a new career. Uh, use current squad so you can download the latest. Um, we haven't touched the squad files yet. Uh, I will be putting use current squads because I have some mods that I will show you in a different video. So I'm going to use current squads. You guys can download, uh, download the latest, right? So you can have the latest uh, squad updates uh, in your career mode. You can choose either manager or player career. Uh, I will choose man uh, manager. So don't have to worry right now. You can make any uh, updates or, or changes into your manager when you want to create your career mode make sure you go to create your club right all right press advance you don't really have to worry about uh i'm not gonna go through this right uh select the rival okay this is where um this is where you you see where the changes right okay so you can see right there right off the bat uh since we did change the default number one uh crest you'll see automatically that now, instead of showing that uh, great crest, go ahead and open it, All right? Now you see Austin Bolt's crest available for your selection. And you can see as well that the, uh, the kit that is on the player right now is showing the Austin Bolt crest. So from there, you know, you can make a, a changes to your jersey this is their actual this is their actual jersey uh except that the uh puma logo is actually in black and white but as you can see you won't be able to have uh sponsors on it you would have to create uh, some custom rgb uh templates to import which can add uh, cu uh custom sponsors or you can uh uh, be sure to wait until the next installment of the series while I'll go into depth how to bring in custom uniforms, real life uniforms into your created club um, mode, uh, custom team. Name and number, you want to make it in black. And there we go. That's pretty much uh, Austin Bold's uh, uniform. And so let's say we, let's continue on like that. And we'll go ahead and start the... Uh, career mode and you will see the changes where it'll apply the uh, the custom crest into the uh, into the career mode so we'll save it and of course it's going to go in through this particular cutscene with the manager as you can see look Austin Bolt's logo is on there here comes the manager and she is going to be carrying even the loop there you go uh, she is carrying the uh, custom uniform you know with the Austin Bolt logo that's pretty much it guys uh for part one of this uh custom create a club uh tutorial series let me know in the comments if you have any other questions with this uh first uh step and um don't forget i do cover rgbfc totals for the striker texas i also have my uh podcast called the down in the valley podcast be sure to check out the main channel for uh every time we go live to talk about the rgbc rgbfc totals in the uso uh, championship uh, who finally after five years we made it back to the playoffs oh by the way oh this is interesting before i leave guys austin bold fc versus austin fc in this preseason tournament invite that is really crazy but guys have a safe halloween 
We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. So I mentioned the positive things about the tours in these last two games, the change of mentality, the, the, the change in the fact that they are not settling for a draw or they're not settling for just a one goal lead. They're continuing to push to extend that lead. Uh, they've improved the number of shots on target, but we go back to it. The biggest thing, the biggest negative I have seen so far from this team at the end of the day, manzanas, the defense need to limit these giveaways, these clear giveaways, especially right in front of goal. 